Hello, hope you're in the best of health. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an accounting website. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly, easy to use, and you can also get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. All you'll need is your email address and from there you can create an account. So once on Wix.com you're going to create an account and then you're going to tap on create new site. After selecting create new site you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. Once you have selected create on Wix editor you'll be redirected to this page and I want you to tap on set up without AI. The reason why I recommend tapping on set up without AI is this will allow you more advantage to, to customize your website to your liking compared to using the AI. So on the search bar right here, you're going to simply type in accounting. So you can see right there. So you can create an accountant website and accounting school accounting tutor you have numerous options that you can choose from if you would like to go down further into the niche so we are going to simply select accountant after you have done that you are going to tap on next and you will be redirected to your wix dashboard on this dashboard i'm going to be showing you how to add your business name and also how to set up other features that will be available for your customers. So you can see right here, you can add your business name right there. Then you can also add your business address and you're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you can select your opening hours. So let's say our business will be open from Monday to Thursday and you can select the hours right here so we will be opening shop from 8 a.m. and we will be closing at 5 p.m. So you can change the hours by simply selecting them. Then tap on next. After you have done that, you can see some services that a typical accountant would offer. So for example, financial consultation, tax preparation, payroll service, you can simply select the box for any one of these services that you will be offering with your company as you can see right here. After you have done that, if you, see a if you don't see a service that you offer, you could tap on create new service at the bottom of the page, enter the service name and you can also select the appointment type. Once you are finished, you'll tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you can start adding your staff member's name and email address, then tap on next once more. Then will you be accepting payments online? More than likely you will. And do you offer virtual sessions? If you do offer virtual sessions, you can simply tick the box right here. After you're finished, you're going to tap on next, then tap on continue to dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, I'll be showing you how to set up the different payment methods that you can offer your clients. I will also be showing you how to edit the services that you have added. For example, I will show you how to add the price and so on. So you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select booking services. Once on the services, Page, as you can see right here, you could add more services by tapping on add a new service in the top right hand corner and by scrolling down, you can see the services that we have added already. And to edit the prices, you'll simply tap on edit. Once you have selected edit, you'll be redirected to that particular service page. From here, you could choose to change the cover image. You can also edit the title if you want and you can add a quick description if you want. And depending on the duration of the service, you can edit it by selecting duration right there. And scrolling down, excuse me, scrolling down, you can select the different payment options and you can also set your price right here. So let's say $200.
then you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner once the changes have been saved you can go over to the left hand menu option in the future and you can hover over booking calendar and select calendar from there you'll be able to see when your services have been booked and by going over to the left hand menu option once more we will scroll down and you are going to select billing and payments and you are going to select payments after selecting payments you will see different payment options that you can offer so we are going to tap on manage payment methods depending on the country you are located in for example i'm located in jamaica so you can see that i'll be able to offer tilo pay and paypal and if i were to scroll down and tap on see more payment options you can see i can also add payment wall but if you would like to offer more payment options all you'll need to do is simply tap on change where you see location in the top right hand corner and if you were to change the location of your website to for example united states you can see that i'm now offered more payment options as i'll now be able to accept apple pay google pay and so on by simply connecting the wix payment method or by scrolling down i can tap on see more payment option and now i'll be able to accept triple a after pay kalarna affirm and so much more as you can see right there so it all depends if you would like to offer more payment option you can simply switch your business location right here and by the way to accept online payments using the wix platform you will need to upgrade to their paid plan but their paid plan is quite affordable as it starts off at $12 per month which is very affordable as you'll be given a free domain name and you'll also get their hosting package now we are going to tap on setup in the top left hand corner after selecting setup what i want you to do next is tap on design site in the top right hand corner once on design site you are going to tap on pick a template then from here you can see the different account and themes that you can use so you can scroll down till you see one of your liking and with wix you will be provided with numerous templates and these templates will give you the opportunity to create a stunning and professional looking website in no time i normally choose one of the best matches so i'm going to tap on edit for this one once you have selected a template you're going to give it a few seconds while the ai compose the information that you would like to be added to your website then tap on generate site text and the wix ai will compose articles that can be added once you have done that if you would like to do that but for the sake of time i'll simply close out of that feature then you are going to tap on the plus 50 percent in the top right hand corner now this is how your website looks at the moment as you can see right here this is how the front page or the home page looks to start editing your website you can simply hover over the sections that you would like to change so let's say for example we would like to edit the header section you can tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner after selecting quick edit you can see right here from here you will be able to manage the menu by tapping on manage menu and you will be able to edit how it looks right there so you can make changes for example if you would like to move the services page so let's say for example i want the about page to be the last option all i'll need to do is simply tap on it and i can drag it right here so it is the last option as you can see right there you can also add pages and so on if you want and if it is a case that you would like to hide or delete a page you can also do that by tapping on the three dots then you could tap on hide or delete another thing that i also want to show you is by going over to the left hand menu option and selecting the plus in the top left hand corner you will see add elements and elements simply mean anything that you would like to add to your Wix website. Whether it be text, image, button, anything at all that you would like to add to your Wix website, you can find it in this section 
and all you'll need to do is simply tap and drag and place it on your website that is basically it it is quite easy to edit a wix website all you'll need to do is simply go over to the top left hand corner now if you would like to edit any other section for example this section right here again all you'll need to do is hover over the section with your cursor and tap on quick edit and you're going to see a window pop up once more on the right hand column so let's say for example i would like to change this image i could tap on change after i've tapped on change i could select image right here once you have selected image you can either choose to upload an image or you could tap on the search bar right here and from here you could type in the type of image that you would like to add so let's say for example i would like to add a businessman right there i could type in that so let's do that real quick then tap on enter from there you can see different copyright free images that you could use so let's say i would like to use this image i could select that one then tap on change background after i've done that you can now see that the background image has changed as you can see right there it is that easy to edit your website and also to view all of the pages that are on your website and edit each you can tap on home in the top left hand corner then you can see the different pages right here so you have the book online page the service page for example if i were to select the service page real quick will be redirected to that page and you can see how it looks right here and again on the right hand column you can see where you have the option to change the background and also manage your services and by manage your services you'll simply be able to edit the services but i've already shown you how to do that and you have already done that before if you were following the tutorial once you're finished you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner then you can tap on publish for your website to go live and that's it you can also select preview before selecting publish and you'll be able to view how it looks and operate so for example if i were to tap on home you can see how the home page will look to our viewers you can also select the services page right here and your viewers will be able to view your services pages so this is how the home page looks at the moment you can see right there thanks for watching if you have any other questions you can let me know in the comments section